Do you need access to really tight spots like through spark plug holes and injector holes? Well, you may want to check out this new bore scope from Milwaukee. This is the Milwaukee 3150, at least that's the model number, 3150-20, because it just comes as a bare tool as we see it now. They may later come out with a kit, but for right now it comes without a battery or without a charger. Now this is an updated bore scope, but really not an updated bore scope. This is a brand new bore scope. So Milwaukee's had a bore scope in the past, but this is specifically for mechanics. A lot smaller camera, a lot smaller cable, and more than one camera. Let's jump in and check this out, and then we'll use it, and then we'll come back and talk about pricing, about warranty, and what we think of it. Well, this is actually a tool that we saw a few months ago at the Milwaukee Pipeline event. I believe that was back in uh, June earlier this year, and it's their brand new mechanics bore scope. Specifically, it's the Milwaukee model number 3150-20. Haven't seen it with a kit yet, so just dash 20, which comes with, as you see right here, uh, the bore scope, which really is two separate things. You've got the cable uh, that has the camera and then also the, the base unit or the base tool, which you can actually replace this as well. And you also get a 32 gigabyte SD card. Let's go ahead and throw an M12 battery in here while we talk about this. And we'll do this nice and slow for all you addicts out there that can uh, watch that peel off. First off, I believe that's a 4.3 inch screen. And if you're not aware of screens, you typically measure them diagonally. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we're a little over four and a quarter inches, but a decent sized screen for a bore scope for sure. And it's 720p. So I believe that's both video and photos. Uh, we will double check that, but uh, 720p. So we'll get some good high definition, 720 is considered high definition. Uh, we can't explode that that much bigger and still have high def, but, but still we'll have a 720p uh, display here. And let's get this card out. And it looks like I'm right here on the side. Flip that open. Oh, okay, this is just the adapter. I should open my eyes. The micro SD card is already in there. So that's cool that they also supply an adapter with the 32 gig mini SD in there, so, or micro SD. So there's the 32 gigabyte card, which again, put it in your adapter, put it in your computer, and pull the videos and photos off of it or whatever you need to do. So again, cool that they supply that with the tool. Make sure you put it in the right way. It should only go in one way. And then you'll also see that the screen actually rotates. I believe they say 270 degrees, so not a full 360, but you can see it goes there and then all the way back around to there. So 270 degrees of rotation. And obviously you can hold this sideways as you need to, but that's cool because you could, you know, lay this in the engine compartment like that and still have a nice display you're looking at. And then you can fish the uh, the camera to where you need it, which is a lot nicer than those, you know, uh, rigid mounted screens where once you lay it over, obviously you're not looking at it in the orientation you want. The other cool thing is when we turn this on, which let's get the camera around here as well. And that's another thing right away, you see how small this cable is, which I believe it's five millimeter. Let's check that. Okay, so let's check. Yep, looks like five, just over five millimeters for that camera. And just so, yeah, there, there it is. So right at the tips, five millimeter. And if I go to inches, 197 thousandths of an inch. As I mentioned, you get a three foot cable and this can be removed as well so easily. Turn the ring, pull it off. Same thing, it's gonna go on one way. Thread that back on. And you're good to go. So, here we are, we have the camera head right here and let me turn this on. 
and you see we have a light right there, a flashlight. And if I push this button again, the flashlight goes off and we have a display right there at the top. Push it again, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. So we have basically five different light settings, four different actually light settings, and then one off setting as well. So we get the battery display up here. We also get the light display up there. So whether you're looking at the light or just toggling through it, you get five different light settings. And there's several more really cool features on this. Right here, the little magnification glass, I can push that and we're gonna go from one times to two times zoom, then three and four. So we get four different zoom settings where we can zoom in really as close as we want to look at you know cracks on pistons or cracks in uh, cylinders or uh, dirty intake passage, whatever you're wanting to look at, you can actually bring that in closer with just the touch of a button. Also, many times when you're feeding it down into a cylinder or an intake runner, you may be looking, you know, staring directly at the piston, but you want to see that cylinder wall or vice versa. You may be staring at a valve and you want to see the actual walls of the intake runner or the combustion chamber. Uh, all I have to do, I don't have to fish this thing around or hook it or, or put a mirror on the end of it. Push this button right here and I go from now viewing this to now viewing what's down here. So it's actually got a side camera on it where I can actually see out the side as well. And again, I still get my full four zoom function on that as well. So whether it's the side camera or the front camera, I'm going to get the same capability. And then the lower buttons here on the left is if I want to take a picture, just snap the picture and now it took that picture, saved it on the SD card. I want to get a video, I can now video and now it's going to start recording and I say okay I want to get that video and then I'm going to switch camera to the front side and now I'm recording again on the front side and then I can stop that one. So now I took a couple of videos, uh, took a couple of snapshots or one snapshot and now that's saved on the SD card. Also if I want to go to that gallery without loading it on my computer maybe validate I've got what I need. I can push the center one here, which is basically the gallery button. And now I can scroll through the images that I have. There's a video, there's a video, there's a still image. And there's a still image. So the center one's gonna be our gallery button. And then that power button is also doubling as the actual light. I like running this with a, uh, a higher capacity battery because then it gives, gives it that footprint but absolutely you could get tons of runtime out of a smaller, you know, 2.0 or 2.5 battery as well on their M12 platform. But again, I just like running this because it has that base that I can just stand it up. Now, I don't know if it matters to you, but just to give you an overall height and width, so right at 11 inches tall, and that's with uh, that higher battery or high capacity battery. And uh, then it looks like the screen's about five and a quarter inches wide overall also and then we'll just measure to the snout of that camera. And so you're looking at or the snout of that cable right there. So about six inches in kind of, you know, front to back, if you will. And when you're looking at the actual length of the camera here, which again, I don't know how much useful this is, but about one and a half inches, 1.6 inches from the tip of this to the base. But again, you're not going to be bending it that tight without breaking something. Um, but you can still get a pretty tight bend on this cable as well. And just to give you that one, it looks like you can get a 180 degree bend within two inches. So about an inch and three quarter to get that 180 degree bend. Now what's pretty typical in using a bore scope is that many times you're using it on a, a warm engine. And sometimes you really don't know by the outside of how warm the inside is. And one of the cool things that this has is what they call heat sense technology that's actually built into the unit. And so if this camera actually exceeds 140 degrees Fahrenheit, it's actually gonna shut the unit down. So it's gonna save your camera, it's not gonna ruin it. So it's automatically gonna sense that here in the tip, right at the camera and understand whether it's getting too hot, shut the camera down and help save your equipment. It's gonna not obviously notify you because you're gonna see your screen go down and you know you can remove that, let the engine cool down a little further before you go inspecting any further. Now let's go actually use this and see what we think about it. Okay, so we've got a 6.0 LS motor in here. I've pulled 
uh, number three spark plug out, which would be the driver's side, second one back. Uh, looks like it's been running Iridium plug, so not a bad looking plug. Looks like a decent color, especially with the 200,000 miles on it. Anyway, so let's check out the cylinder with the bore scope. So I'll power it on. And I'm at one times magnification, so we'll start there. And this is where this comes in very handy with this rotating screen, because now I can set it down to where it's actually gonna be something comfortable for me that I can still see. And then I can fish this into the spark plug hole. You can see, I can see it right there. Looks like the top of the piston is right near the top of the bore. And so let's go ahead and switch our orientation. You do have to be careful. So now I'm back to the front camera. And if we're recording, so if I start recording now on this front camera, and I go in and I'm recording the, the top of the piston, and I can see part of the cylinder wall there as well. Now, if I just change my orientation, that will stop the recording, and it doesn't save the recording. So there's a 17 second, we'll just let it get to 20 second video. And if I just change the orientation, it changes orientation, but it doesn't save that video. Oh, yes it did. So it did save the video, but you do have to realize that it actually stops that video. So hit the gallery button again, take us back to the camera. So now we're forward facing camera and go to the side facing camera. Or nope, I just hit the record button. So we're on the forward facing camera, change to the side facing camera. And now I can see the top of the piston. I can see the, the valve here right at the edge and the cylinder walls as well. And if I want to get a recording of that, again, I can see casting of the cylinder head. I can see the top of the cylinder walls and the top of the piston. Hit the video button again and save that. But just understand, if you start videoing and you hit the orientation button to change it to the different camera, uh, then it's going to actually shut that video off. You'll have to hit the, the uh, video button again. Well, there's some really cool features on this camera. We love being able to change that orientation from the front camera to the side camera. Now, there is no orientation like changing it from, uh, you know, one side to another, flipping the screen, things like that but you do get 270 degrees of rotation where you could spin that screen around wherever you need it. And again, that comes in very handy, especially under the hood, when now you can finesse the camera with two hands and get it where you need it. And this thing can just lay down wherever you need it and you can still have access to, to the screen in whatever orientation that you want. Now, pricing on this is $429 for the bare tool. Well, the bare tool comes with the tool as well as the three foot cable and camera, and also a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Now the warranty is a five year warranty on the tool and a two year warranty on the cable, which also includes your camera. Now one thing really cool on this was basically the technology that senses the heat and shuts everything down before you ruin it, then you can pull the scope out, let the vehicle cool down or let the engine cool down or whatever you're working on, uh, before you use it again. And again, I think that top temperature was like 140 degrees. So we'll have a link in the description so you can check it out. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.